all welcome back to the channel as you can see today we do a recovery video essentially and you know there's many different variating ways you can do this um this product here and here were actually sent to me from vevor vivor bever um and they asked me to do a video on it and i'm like hell yeah i'll put links to this stuff this will be probably have one of them paid wherever the, the, the card's gonna be uh promotion whatever's so yeah as you can see the top of this thing is orange i verified with them this is not dot approved yet they're still waiting on their certification um so disclaimer there um but it's, it looks like a basic recovery machine all plastic made in china what do you expect um but an affordable option compared to some others i have the field piece one that i consistently use um you'll notice here this has like an additional like ball valve here all it is is what they do is they pre-package this with nitrogen and that that's all it's there to release the nitrogen inside the the tank other than that i mean i don't know what you could potentially use this purpose for maybe evacuate it and check your microns on it or something like that um so yeah i'm just gonna do a quick little setup i got quarter inch hoses we're gonna do a little bang out job see how this thing actually operates this is my first time using it haven't even turned it on i figured what now is a better time to do it than changing out this copeland compressor scroll let's get it of course it's starting to rain so yeah as you can see you got your two gauges one single um dial there in out the basic stuff it does come with a filter uh dryer with a little short hose to attach that to and then this is just this this comes with two quarter inch adapters i think and then either five sixteenths or three eighths for that as well and again so and then this is just i mean it looks cool but i don't know what the purpose of it is and it's starting to damn rain but anywho it came out to this compressor the other day when this uh this bad boy daikin and uh she was locked out um so yeah we're gonna do that probably won't do all that i'm just gonna do a little setup video on that kind of demonstrate it i want to see actually how it does perform um i think it was like they sell for like 469 or something and that for like 50 bucks so yeah let's let's set this up i'm gonna set it up the way i, I do it with what i have here my quarter inch hoses and um yeah, wait for the storm to roll through. All right, so y'all can see, I got my core tools there. Uh, getting this hooked up. I'm gonna go ahead, get everything hooked up, and then we'll, we'll get ready to time this thing out, weigh out the charge, and really see how comparable a machine like this, which is, you know, I'd say off brand, right? Compared to say a field piece, a yellow jacket, uh, um, the G5 twin or whatever by Avion, Avion. Um, so let me do that in the meantime and we'll get started. Now, mind you, this isn't going to be like an instructional video on how to uh, properly do an evacuation. It's just a demonstration on these these products to really see if they're worth you investing time. Because I know people are going to, everybody goes to Amazon. This is on Amazon. So I'll be the test dummy. I'll be the one. Now, granted, I like free stuff. So <laughs> I might say it's good. I might not. I mean, is this going to overtake my field piece? I don't think so, but it's going to be good to have. Plus, we got the uh, umbrella out. So, it's a beautiful day. It's a windy sun day. But, get ready to turn this thing on. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to purge. Now that's open. I'm going to purge the other line all the way through. I got this valve shut. As you can see here. I took the straighter cord out of there. This is just, everything's gonna be open here. I got this loose up here. We'll open it. 
Um, cover the other side. All right. So we're all we're all purged out. As you can see, pressure coming in. So we'll get ready to, and this is closed as well. So, excuse me. Yeah. Oh, sweet logo. I'm gonna get ready to start the process here. Valve is closed, so since I have the tank upside down, even though we're on the vapor side, we're gonna push that liquid refrigerant right in, right? There's a dip tube inside of there. We're gonna open up the valve. We're gonna turn it on, open the valve, crack that open on the liquid line, let it run, do its thing, and then come back, open our vapor line, let it pull through, shut everything off. So let's see how long this process takes. about two two minutes 40 seconds in i wanted to put it on here so you can kind of hear how loud that thing is clearly it's not a it's not a dc motor we're at about uh, almost four pounds we're at three pounds 13 ounces so we'll continue that's not bad i haven't even opened up the vapor side yet but you can see the pressure on our side or our high side's rising so keep an eye on it not starting back up it just shut off um, so <clears throat> yeah look I mean which isn't out out of the brown there for that high pressure side there on that valve um, I still have my vapor closed so it, we're only pulling through the liquid line and again like I said we're we're, we're coming in on the vapor side but coming in with liquid because it, so, hmm. This thing, it, this isn't, this fuse didn't trip. It just, <laughs> just stopped working. <sighs> so, I'm gonna give that a couple minutes. Where are we at? Oh crap, I stopped it. All right, let me stop for a second. It's probably been a couple minutes there. We only got five pounds out of this thing. We're gonna really start this thing back up. Line is open. I did close off the valves. So let's start our timer. That's open. Start this. Ten minutes. Alright. I'm gonna investigate this in the meantime. I mean, there's no way this system only has a five and a half pound refrigerant in it. Um, and if it did, maybe that's it. Then it took 10 minutes basically to recover it all. I mean, that's not terrible. Well, I'll be damned. That's all it actually had in it. My mistakes. We'll go ahead and purge all that back into the tank. Clear, clear the system out. Yeah. She's all empty. All right. A little bit impressed with that thing. Once I purged it all out, it was good. I just assumed that was my mistake that that system took more than five and a half pounds. Once I was done purging, it went to 512, say 513. I probably could have done a lot better if I had a 3 8 hose there. Obviously bigger hoses, shorter hoses, better. But I mean, for the price point, like I said, I think 469. Uh, only thing is, like I said, that's not DOT approved, but the tank did get hot as hell. Not, not quite sure I'm gonna have to check into that. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bang this compressor out. That's gonna be a quick little video on that, guys. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Would you pick something up, you know, like this, an off-brand kind of thing? Um, you know, what, what do you think about that? Like I said, this wasn't a recovery machine video or how to properly recover. It was just me putting something together for this. So if y'all do not mind smashing that like button, subscribing if you haven't. I appreciate all my subscribers. And again, go check out Adrian. Look at this shirt. This shit is dope. You know what I'm saying? If you know, you know. And guess what? I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Later.